Hi to everyone on Earth. Beautiful Terra, ground of change for not only this planet, but also the whole galaxy. Many of you listening to this are eager to make contact with off-world, off-Terra, people and cultures. This time is very near, but I may invite you to discover another way of communicating with the star people, what you call the star people. Well, you need first to look into yourselves. You know, these bodies that you occupy are just temporary. You know this, they are flesh suits, avatars that are able to allow your soul, your being, your is be to strive on earth and breathe and uh, live in the, the atmospheric and gravitational conditions and also the star radiations, the star that is called on earth, soul. Well, the being that is inside is either from the planetary matrix of Terra or is either from another planetary matrix. And the universe is extremely vast, infinitely vast. I have to say there are no boundaries because as much as there is no linear time, there is no linear universe, cosmos, as we may call it. Cosmos includes an infinite amount, number of universes. To have this idea, you can visualize the flower of life, the geometrical pattern that was given to Earth by people from other places, showing them what the universe looks like. Of course, it was represented in flat two dimensions, on carved, on stones, all over this planet, painted, drawn. But in fact, it's not flat. It is round. It is to be seen as third dimensional, like a bubble. But this bubble is not the limit. It's infinite. So you need to imagine every little circle as bubbles. And each bubble is a universe. And each universe overlaps with another one and each universe is a different dimension. Okay. Well, that's to <laughs> remind you the idea that you knew about the universe being that vast. You can come from any place in this universe, any place. Also from Terra. How to determine this? Where are you coming from? Well, only you can tell. I am. I do not advise that you require the help of other humans to help you activate your memory. You can do hypnosis, of course, but it is hypnosis is great. I tried it three times on this planet in this incarnation and it really works. It's an amazing tool and I recommend it. But try not to because you have all the keys. Okay? What is a planetary matrix? A planetary matrix is the sphere of consciousness of a planet. When we terraform a planet, we need to to work with the stars to allow this planet to develop an etheric sphere around it. When occurring naturally in the cosmos, a planet will naturally develop an etheric sphere at the moment it has a magnetosphere. A magnetosphere will allow life to exist and to develop. Without a magnetosphere, it is impossible. The etheric sphere includes the consciousness of all living beings, creatures, sentient beings on this planet. I can rem remind you that minerals can be sentient as well. And what exists on Earth is very diversified, but if you consider the whole cosmos, 
It's unfathomable. A planetary matrix is the, the etheric sphere, the soul matrix, that in which every soul will follow their cycle of incarnation. Every soul will de-incarnate when finish an existence, bounce back in this etheric matrix and come back in another body and evolving, evolving, evolving until one day the soul has reached the maximum potential of development on the planet and is then allowed, because it has reached a certain level, to go in incarnate in any other planetary matrix throughout the whole cosmos. But there will be one planetary matrix that will be yours, your origin, home. Many of you have Earth as a planetary matrix. Many of you come from the stars, the cosmos. Many of you have reached the level the maximum level, the ultimate level, level of evolution in the planetary matrix of your home world. And then you've traveled the cosmos, incarnating wherever, wherever you want. You can also incarnate back onto your home world and back and forth and also in time. Always keep the, the equation of time in your mind. Because time is very important, as much as space, equally. When you travel in space, you travel in time. And also, time is, how to say, stretched and deformed by gravity. So when you enter the cycle of incarnation on a world, which obviously has gravity, you are subject to linear time. When you leave the gravitational field of the planet, you are no more subject to linear time. Time is omnipresent. Time is global. It's like an infinite sphere expanded infinitely. Um, then where are you coming from? Where is home? Where is your planetary matrix? Some of you are in the process of incarnation and cycles on Terra. You are consciousness from Terra. And you know it. You feel a deep resonance in your soul with this planet. You feel it. You're here, you're home. You're not interested by stars. You're not interested by off-worlders. No. You're only interested by this planet. Because you feel it's your home. It's your mother. Your matrix. And you have no attractions to the sky, to the stars. At all. You feel you belong here. All of you who are not from this planetary matrix called Terra. Well, you want to find where is your home? Well, only you know. And I'll give you some tips now. Something very simple. Stand outside in the in the under the stars by a clear night. And Relax. Put yourself into a higher density of consciousness, a higher frequency. And embrace the love and the longing for home. Where is home in this immensity above me and around me? And then you open your eyes and you it's the first impression that draws you to look in a special direction and straight away your consciousness re like a magnet resonate with home and you will see that star you will see that star 
have a pen and a paper and try to draw the constellations to be able to locate this star, this star system. Sometimes there's no star system because you come from so far that it is not even visible in the Earth sky, but it points anyway to a direct direction. It can be another galaxy, it can be very far away. Well, you have also um, another help with technology. If you have a phone, you can use a phone app. Uh, I like Star Walk too, but there are others. It helps you, you put your, you enter your location, it helps you to identify anything in the night sky. So you can use this app, it's uh, useful too. Well, once you've located, so that's a way to know where you come from, where your planetary matrix is. Also, focus on my planetary matrix, my mother, my home. Because you know, for instance, me, my planetary matrix is in another galaxy. But in my previous life, which is in the future, I incarnated in the Pleiades, which is neighboring st uh, cl star cluster from Sol. But it's not, it's not my home planetary matrix. Okay. So focus on home, the home of the soul. That's quite fascinating to do that. It opens the infinity of the horizon. Well then, that's one thing. We are talking about communicating with off-worlders. Unfortunately, to communicate like this, you need technology. I have technology, that is why I can communicate, because I am a chosen emissary. But every one of you who are not from here can communicate via your soul, with your soul group. Every, every, every one of you. So how do you do that? It's by reactivating your memory. You use this meditation, this, any meditation method that will allow you to cut yourself from the outside world and the disturbances and go within. I myself recommend a meditation that is in three steps. The first step is to cut the noise and go within. The second step is to really um, be aware of the bones, the muscles. You go from the tip of your toes to the tip of your hair, the top of your head, and contracting, releasing the muscles. While you do that, you know, you do not think about disturbances. You're really there in this avatar body. And then when you're really in possession mentally of this avatar body, you go within. And who's inside? Haha, who are you? inside. That's a great adventure. Be attentive to the color, the hands. Sometimes you may have a different shape, which is incredible, but it works. And sometimes also you can have different color of skin, different gender. Um, difference of gender occurs, you know. Well, th these human bodies are binary, but throughout the cosmos, there are so many different um, genders so that you you forgot about but gender is not important it's important is your identity how do you look like and while you connect with who you are <laughs> you will look like your soul will look like the people the last stage of the, the ultimate stage of evolution of the planet that is your home that's how your ESB look like. As the people or the creatures, the beings who live on that world. That's how you look like. And I'm sure you're magnificent. All life in the universe is magnificent, my beloved. All life. And so are you. Now we are at stage three of contact with yourself. And when you are totally in contact with yourself, you've dissociated from the avatar. 
And then, when you're totally yourself, work on being yourself. I mean, this is rich in many different stages of meditation, okay? Then you remember. And you are going to start to have memories and feel presences. Who are these presences? And these ones, this is safe because you've put your protections before, which I forgot to tell you, it's very important, your protections and you're in it. And while you are this being, you are in a higher frequency. So you're not subject to hacking and attacks from demonic forces or other, you know, um, intrusions. No, you're not. You're safe. Because you are yourself and you are in your full power. Once you're there, you feel these presences. Who are they? They are your soul group. We have soul groups, most of us. Most of life in um, the cosmos is individuated. I mean, you are one consciousness in one body and you belong to a soul group. And this soul group is going to very often incarnate in the same places as you or follow you and help you in, help each other in the missions we've chosen. It's a family. Sometimes you play the father, sometimes you play the daughter, sometimes you play the evil friend who's going to trigger um, evolution. Well, soul group, you feel them. And you start to communicate with them. You are communicating with extraterrestrials, as you call them. Yes. Your soul group. And at this point, when that happens, it's very emotional experience. Um, I can promise you that it's so beautiful. You'll have, you shed some tears. And then, not only you can ask them anything they'll answer, but there is even better. You can remember the answers. You can also tap into the cosmic consciousness and know everything. At the moment, you quantumly focus on a question, a quest. You get the response of the universe, the answer. That is how on Al-Nilam, during the Orion Wars, we were training the rebellion to tap into the cosmic archives. When you connect it, you know the moves of your enemy really early before they make it. It's very difficult, but when you access this knowledge, you are invincible. You have all the keys when you are connected to who you are. You do not need to pay money to anyone to help you reach that because sometimes you are not ready to know the answers. You are ready when you do the process yourself. And when there's blockages, that means you need to treat a trauma or a problem and work on it, and then it unlocks, unlocks, unlocks. Do not allow anyone to activate you. Activation is a personal transformation. It's a process that takes time, and you need to do it yourself. If traumas block your remembering and your awakening, etc. Well, you can hel ha ask help of a, a therapist to help you heal your trauma, to show you the way and show you where the doors are, but you are the one to open the doors. So, at the end, The right teacher is the teacher who shows you 
how to unlock the knowledge within yourself. No one will give you the answers. You need to go and find them. And that's amazing. That's why we incarnate, why we go through these, these experiences. Beloved ones, I um, see you next time and enjoy the discovery of the cosmos through yourself.